In digital spaces, imposters are everywhere. It's one of the top threats cybersecurity experts are trained to defend against. Recently, Twitter allowed users to pay for verified accounts, but quickly paused signups after a wave of impersonators. As a digital society, we have subconsciously or even consciously been trained to trust that blue check mark. Dr. Eric Huffman is a local educator, IT expert, and cybersecurity professional who has been tracking the impact of changes at Twitter. It's a verification and it's a way to attribute that this person is actually this person in a landscape, a digital landscape where everything could be faked. Just a few weeks ago, Twitter decided to open up verification to users who were willing to pay for it. The fallout included a wave of impersonators with new check marks. A verified fake LeBron James account demanding a trade. We saw a fake verified Nintendo account um, posting all kinds of obscene things. In the wake of these issues, Twitter paused the paid verification signups and tweeted out it will aggressively go after impersonation and deception. Now, I think there's an understanding that this verification is it's a big deal. As Twitter leadership irons out safeguards to deal with imposter accounts and misinformation, Dr. Huffman says we should be looking beyond the check marks. We now have to take a couple extra steps. Before sharing a tweet or interacting with an account, he suggests clicking into the profile and looking for the following information. When was the account made? What were some of the recent tweets sent? And how many followers does the account actually have? If small business owners discover someone is impersonating their business, he says don't wait to take action. If you find an imposter, um, definitely report it. And it may take a while, um, but definitely, definitely report it. And if there is malicious information being targeted towards your customers, put out, put out some messaging that this account is not a legitimate account. Hundreds of thousands of people have deleted their Twitter accounts during this transition. But cybersecurity experts warn if you delete your account, your Twitter handle gets thrown back into the open market and anyone could claim it. You may decide it's better to lock down your account, but keep it active instead. I'm Patrick Nelson for News 5.